What's going on guys? Got a 2020 Chevrolet Colorado here and we're gonna be doing some factory upgrades to it today. I'm gonna to break this video up into three parts. Uh, in today's video, it's going to be the grill. This is the Bison grill. And in the next video, we'll do fender flares and then we'll do the sports bar. All right, well, here we go. You're probably going like, what the heck? What's up with all the tape? Well, I'm gonna to go to take this bumper off. Um, the last thing I wanna do is damage these fenders when I go to put this thing back on by myself, okay? I work in a dealership and I've actually take off bumpers quite often and I'm gonna do this one by myself. When we actually pop this off, there's a good chance that this piece, this piece of uh, bumper right here can rub against the fender right here and actually scratch it up. So I just wanna protect that and I wanna protect the headlight from anything moving. Because I, again, I am doing this by myself and I've seen it over and over to where you end up with scratches here and we either gotta repaint the fenders or actually go back and and buff buff the fenders the last thing i want to do is tear up this truck because it actually only has like 30 miles on it i mean it's brand new uh, i also taped up the bumper here kind of where the lines the lines are because when i get the bumper off to take the grill off i'm actually gonna take this bumper off flip it down like this i'm gonna put a blanket down I might do it in the back of the truck um, and gonna have to separate the grill from the actual bumper piece and i've seen it a million times where where these hard lines are at on the bumper where it's just moving around because you're working on trying to get this out that will actually rub the paint off anywhere that you have any of these body lines so i went ahead threw some masking tape on it this is 3m masking tape this is the green tape it's the best tape you can get it's made for uh, automotive and it will not pull the paint or damage the paint or anything like that so a little bit of protection it looks kind of nuts all right so as far as the bumper coming off um, you're gonna need to remove these torx bolts that you have here okay it's a t15 I'm coming down the fender liner Get some more T15s. Okay, take those out. And then back here, you either have some seven millimeters or some 10 millimeters. I don't remember, but when I get there, I'll show you. I think it's sevens that hold it on. Uh, maybe somewhere back here, there's some sevens that hold it on too. It might be 10 millimeter, but uh, you have to go down here also and look in the grill. Because inside the grill, there's a 10 millimeter up in there and in there, okay? All right, so we got a Torx T15. It looks like this on a quarter inch extension. I'm using an electric ratchet. Uh, this is a Matco ratchet. Milwaukee makes a really good one. I highly recommend it. I haven't bought it yet because uh, this guy still hasn't died on me, but I've used them and uh, they work really well. So if you need an electric ratchet, I'll look into the Milwaukee ones. I'll leave uh, links down in the description box for you know all the tools and all the parts that uh, I'm working with. So if you need anything, you just go down in the description box and check that out. So go ahead and remove these guys first. Let's Electric tools will make things so much quicker instead of doing it by hand. And like I said before, the Milwaukee ones, this guy here is like 10 years old. The Milwaukee ones are really nice. I actually have a 3 8 and half inch one. Couldn't be any happier. It's worth every dollar. All right, so we're gonna move these guys. Same thing. Put the liner back. All right, now, so if you look up in here, you're gonna have a seven millimeter here. There's another one in the back, and I need to remove those. Okay, and also, there's gonna be a seven millimeter right down here. You're gonna remove it from the bracket there. Sorry, there's actually three. There's one way, way in the back back there. Three seven millimeters you gotta uh, take loose. Then you can pull it off. Okay, now go ahead and disconnect both of your fog lights. All there is is this little clip right here. You can push down on it and pull it right off. It's pretty simple. Okay, yeah, right here in the grill with the 10 millimeters. Sorry, my light's kind of sucking pretty bad, but you got up in here. I need a real long extension. Here's the 
there's that 3 8 Milwaukee. I was talking about this. It takes a lot of butt. And don't worry about grabbing the bolts out. You'll jack with those later. Okay, so underneath the front bumper right here, there's two 10 millimeter bolts. Okay. Look at the driver's side. You have one right here. And then you come over the other side. And there's another one right here, okay? Just tens. I'll just zip them right off real quick. So, a little bit of extra tape protection right here. All you gotta do is go down with it. And you can see how it's in there like that. Okay, it uses these alignment pins right here and you don't want these guys scratching up the bumper here. I might put an extra piece of tape here just in case. All right, bumper should be nice and loose now. Okay, you cannot take the grill off with the bumper on. Okay, so don't even try. You might feel like you can, but you'll just end up tearing up your paint. Come over here and let's pull down. Okay, and you'll feel the whole thing kind of come down. Same thing with the other side. I already got it kind of released. Okay, and you don't want to let these tabs rub against the fenders, okay? I'll just pull this guy towards you a little bit and she should be ready to come off. A little bit of wiggling. Just make sure I'm not tearing anything up over here. There is a clip there, and there is a clip here. You're gonna have to just pull it. Okay. And then just remove it. Take it back of the truck. Okay, so here's your clips. These clips were clipped in. Then you have your 10 millimeter bolt, 10 millimeter bolt of the clip. These are nice and sturdy. So the grill itself is just clipped in and you're gonna have to go to town with a screwdriver to get it unclipped. All right. Okay, so if you take a look at your new grill, you'll see how the bumper is clipped in. So it's clipped in here, okay, it's clipped in here throughout all these here, okay? So it definitely flips in this way. These guys are gonna be the hard ones to get to. So they're hard to see. All right, you're just gonna have to kind of work your way around them. All right. Man, this is a good looking grill. It looks so much better. All right, now go ahead and you can get yourself a flathead screwdriver. Here are your clips here, and all you gotta do kind of push on the painted piece and then pull up on the grill and that one's loose there same thing here that one's loose there that one's loose there and it's these guys that give you the trouble this is why you can't do it on the car okay come around here you can see here you can actually probably get this with your finger this, you know, the bumper stuff is so soft okay I got that one there. Use a screwdriver here. Put this one. Put that one. Okay. Alright, it is loose. You can just pull it off. Watch the bumper, it's going to want to take off that way. Z71 bumper. Okay. Cool. Good time to clean up this dirt that's in here. Grab the new one. Flip her around. Just drop her on. Line up all the red tabs. Get them all lined up before you smash it down. Okay. All pushed 
out. These guys are good here. Go back and check these guys. Pushed all the way in. All right, looks good. Go put this guy back on the truck. Okay, so hopefully you didn't fast forward to this part. You're gonna want to hold the bumper like this. You're gonna want to put it on straight forward. Okay, because the bottom part has to kind of get around a bit. You're gonna to want to go straight on. You don't want to kind of hang it or anything. Okay. But you gotta get it low enough for all the stuff down there, all the miners and stuff. These brackets and things. You gotta get lined up with these hooks down here. What you gotta do is you gotta get these clips that clip in. Okay. The brackets right there. So you don't want to hang it from the top because you won't get it. Okay. So you want to go straight on. Okay. Try not to scratch any of this up. Watch what you're doing. Time because that stuff is finished, but you have to kind of feel where it goes, and you'll feel it. Right now, I'm feeling it fight me all right here. Pull this trim, okay. you gotta kind of get it around all that. Thing. Go on, okay? You gotta make sure you're not tearing up your new bulb here. Those two pins that are hanging out, make sure they're not tearing anything up, but it's high enough. Feel it kind of go in like that. If you try to lay it like that, you're going to have all kinds of problems because you're going to fight all this stuff down here. You kind of want to go this way with it. Hopefully, you didn't fast forward through there. Okay. And that clip, you want to engage that clip. All right. And the extra piece of tape here can really prevent those alignment clips from damaging the fender. I'm going to go check the other side. They're kind of right where they need to be. And Looks in. Okay. And bam. Put her on the top. Get it below the cable. And make sure it's lined up. Alright. And then remove the extra tape I put here. You kind of see how I put some extra tape here. I'm gonna pull that out. You can see how damaging. Those alignment pins are, they'll, they'll, tear, they'll tear some stuff up. And you can see how here, it actually, when I was taking it off, it actually touched it. So, I don't want any of that. Line it back up. It should go right back where it needs to go. And just replace all the screws that you took out. All right, guys, check it out. The Bison Grill, it looks pretty darn good. What a great upgrade. Uh, pretty happy with it. Hopefully this video will show you how to do this really quick, really easy without wasting your time. Unlike some of those other videos on YouTube. Um, the paint, as far as you know, doing all the crazy tape, got zero damage on the paint. I didn't lose anything, no mistakes. It came out perfect. The grill looks great. Definitely, def definitely an upgrade. Uh, let's see if we can order some of these trim bezels because you can actually get these black and really help out and go with the theme here with the black. This truck is getting some black rims with some Duratrax on it, a little bit of different offset, a little bit bigger tire. Um, look for that video. It's gonna be my fourth video on this truck probably. Um, reason why I'm gonna make that video is because it's getting um, some bigger tires, but no lift. We're not doing a lift on this truck right now. So we're gonna see what it looks like and how it, how it works without the lift. And I'm gonna ceramic coat all the things I'm doing to this. Like the truck's already been ceramic coated, already ceramic coated. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna ceramic coat uh, the new wheels, the grill, the fender flares, and the sports bar. That being said, uh, look for part two, which is gonna be the fender flares, and then part three, which is gonna be the sports bar. And hopefully the video, I uh, hope you really, really enjoyed it. Hope you really, really liked it. And if you did, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up, show me a little bit of support, and uh, subscribe. Uh, that would help out too. Check out the links down below, they're there for you guys. And uh, you guys take care, be safe, have a great weekend.